I started in Sunmers back in Liverpool, in the great city of Liverpool, in 1965. Four cinemas were two projectors, on changeovers, some on 20 minute reels. They all use carbons. You would have a positive and a negative carbon, and they'd be inserted into the carbon arc itself. And you change the positive carbon, which was always on the right hand side, and the negative carbon always came through the mirror. The positive carbon burns with a crater in it, which shone the light back into the mirror and the mirror reflected it to the projector gate. You would line up your positive and negative carbon in the arc lamp itself and there was a periscope which shone a beam of light onto a white chart so you could see exactly that your carbons were in the correct position. To ignite the carbons you bring the positive and negative together and then pull them away slowly. Peerless Magnark was one of the most common arc lamps used in this country, mainly by ABC cinemas. Here we can see the positive carbon to the right and the negative carbon to the left behind the dowser. These carbon rods are copper coated so as the carbon rods burn down the copper actually drops into a tray which you can see at the bottom of the screen now. The carbons burn away so you need a motor that controls the speed of the carbons being fed together to keep the same gap in the same place because if the gap goes too close the picture goes brown and if the gap goes too wide the light, the light could actually just drop out on if it didn't it would go blue. A good projectionist will stay by his machine constantly checking his carbons uh, adjusting them where necessary but keeping an eye on his good picture and that's spelt great presentation.